Welcome back guys for another episode of Fishing North Atlantic and you've pretty much just caused in our brand new boat called Ocean Runner uh, I think we need to change the look of this boat really don't we when we get back to the docks and we're giving our hand that deep line fishing it's going not too bad so far but not perfect we're still learning the ropes with this new boat of ours as you've probably seen on a previous episode we had the snar set that boat is cursed you thought it sunk when it was at the dock and when you're in open water if you turn left or right you try and steer the boat in any direction it just capsizes straight away so it's nearly impossible and what a waste of money that was for us so stay clear of that one guys if you are looking to buy your first big boat do not buy that one I pledge you please 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 don't buy that boat it's it's cursed it really is Oh my god, if you don't know what I'm on about, have a look at my last video at the end of it, and it's just comical. It is just comical, but hard work at the same time. So we've put a couple of deep lines around, and we're going to do a few fast tracks. Here we go, back at our seventh location. We've currently got four and a half thousand kilograms of all different fish, really. I don't know which fish we've currently got with us. That's what we need to do with this boat is with the deep lines, we capture the fish. And once they've been captured, but then we need to gut them and then stack them. So that is just on here. These are all the ones that we've uh, been prepared, shall we say. We've got a guy at the side of the boat waiting for our next boy, which is coming up just ahead of us. If you want to name this boat as well, guys, let me know down in comments and I'll look for one of the better comments and we could name it after the one that you suggest here we go so this guy does it all by himself so I don't actually have to press E or anything he just does it all for us so a little bit of a warning guys it is a little bit of um, a gruesome captures especially when you've got in the fish as well it's quite graphic and all that so if you don't like it um, a little bit of a spoiler alert for you here at the moment we can hire one of our workers to do the going, or we can do it ourselves, and same for this as well, for the long line. He's just doing it himself, he's not doing too bad, he's missed quite a few at the moment, but he's still a newbie at the moment, isn't he? He's still a newbie. So, let's get to gutting some fish. We can also set somebody to cook as well, which is pretty cool. We can actually cook a bit of our capture. I don't know if it gives you any extra money or anything, but it's something we can do, I suppose. Here we go, fish gutting. All you have to do is stick your knife in, drag it down that line, and stop at the breaks. The better you do, the more star rating you get, and you get a little bit more profit as well, I think, per fish. That's quite a bit down there at the moment. This guy's still bringing him in. Doing a great job there, buddy. Oh, I can't jinx man there because the last two he's just missed. When he misses them, you don't get anything for it. They go back in the ocean. Stop releasing our oh, cash. Is it all of them? I think it is. Okay, cool. So we can't actually move on until he's actually finished what he's doing. Again, we need to move on to the next point. So we've got quite a few ahead of us here, haven't we? So we've got one, two, three, four. And you've got one over there as well, right out of the way. You can use different baits when you're using the the long lines. I was to say deep line then. The long lines, you can actually use several different baits. And for which bait you use determines what type percentage of fish that you go to capturing as well. So it all goes on like a percentage chart. I'll show you when I'm back at docks for it. Look at my little worker, doing a fantastic job there, missing the fish. Well done, buddy. Well done. Oh, he's actually captured one. So, what are we actually looking like on our workers? So, long line haul line. Well, he's a little bit tired, our Josh, isn't he? And long haul line is only level five. So, when you purchasing, or hiring, shall I say, a new work member, always have a look at what type of boat you're using. So, for long line hauling, is five. 
Then pot baiting is uh, nine, which is quite good for that. Crane operator, we don't actually use a crane on this one. I'm aware of, but I think this boat can use one. I think that might be a crane up there, actually. I believe this can actually use for lobsters. I think it's lobster cages, anyway, you can use. A lobster pots, is it, you call it. Again, we'll have a look when we're back at the docks, what we can afford. If we might be able to upgrade it, try a little bit of something different. It'll be quite good. And if you don't trust your little workers, you can do it yourself. Quite a good thing about this game. Oh, I missed. I'm just as bad as the workers, I'm <laughs> not gonna lie. We need to get that circle right down. And wait for it to go green. If we can. Perfect. Oh, it's not too hard if you have a little bit of patience. Better clicking it straight away like I did. Oh, that went big again, actually. That was that was quite a, quite a bad one there, wasn't it? We didn't really capture that many. We've set our worker there to gut in the fish, get them prepared. We've really got 6,798 kilograms. Four different types of fish. Which is good. Yeah, we've still got quite a few as well to go. Fingers crossed, might get a good haul out of this lot. Nearly forgot as well, guys. We need to give you a little tour of the ocean runner, don't we? So as you can see, we've got our radio up here, we've got binoculars, we've got the itinerary logbook up there. We've got uh, two different screens in front of us. One is the sonar and one is for the map. We've got the radio. These are the little buttons for the the horn. Let's see the horn. And you got all the lights and everything there. And that's if we go forward or backwards faster. Little controls there for us. Let's get out. So. The deck is looking real nice. We've got a nice little kitchen. Got a nice relaxing area just here as well. You can put your feet up, relax, take some time to chill out. Nice little wardrobes, drawers and everything there. Got the front of the hull. And coming back, we've got one workstation here for the gutting. He's doing the nets. Well, fishing lines what are coming in for the long lines. And can we go down here? No, we can't go down here. And, and this is setting the pots as well. So we get these full of bait, stick them onto here, and then we can drop the lines through. Oh, overall, it's quite a nice little, nice little boat, isn't it? And our crane, I do believe that's a crane anyway. I've not used it yet. And we can use this for lobsters or crabs, I think, off the top of my head. Like I said, I've not tried it yet, so it's going to be new for me. And I think storage will be underneath there. That's quite a nice little boat, really, isn't it? I'm happy with it. I'm happy, especially with under a million pounds as well. So, can't argue for that one, can we? I think it was like 790,000. So, expensive, but good. It's a good little boat. And see if we catch anything on our final one. Oh, wait, we need to make sure we've got fuel actually as well. Don't we're running out of fuel just yet, do we? So, fuel is really low. Okay, let's, um, I'm going to risk it. You got to risk it for that chocolate biscuit, don't you? And I'm going, <laughs> I'm going for it. So we made it to our final fishing line. And unfortunately, because there wasn't any population of fish over that area, I just give it, a, just threw it over the board, hoping for the best, to be honest with you. Um, so I didn't really hope for much. And unfortunately, we didn't actually get anything. However, we did make it back to the port with barely enough fuel so yeah first thing we've got to do is sell the fish and then fuel up but how much have we made Forty thousand. okay it's not really the best is it Eesh. paddock pollock redfish and silver hake um got quite a bit of revenue i suppose for it Forty thousand. not really the best not the worst but at least we've got enough money now to well fill up with everything else um, net fishing. Oh, okay. We'll do net fishing. Should we try that net? No, let's give her one lot of go on the long line fishing, and then for our next episode, I want to try and do net fishing. So stay tuned for that one, guys. And then we've got lobster boat fishing. That could be another episode. 
And then we've got deep line fishing as well. So that's another one we could do. So we've got four different thing videos we can make. All in all, so it won't be too bad for us. Um, services, we don't need that. We need stop uh, maintenance by fuel. Time to get the guys to work. Get these long lines baited and set. Let's have a quick check. Who have we got who is good with our baiting? Baiting level 6. Two, four. And what are you on there, buddy? You're number 9. Hey, you're doing it, buddy. So we've got 20 lines we can drop. Just cost us 20,000 to get them done. And we just need to wait until we get a good amount of fish coming through. A lot behind us. Hopefully we're getting a good amount in front of us as well. Let's try and turn away, try and get a bit towards around this area if we can. We're about halfway there and it's in the middle of the night. Our guys are working pretty much around the clock. To say the least, we've got quite a lot of potential here. A lot of different fish. We've got redfish, we've got haddock. Where are the other ones? White fish, is it? We've got loads of different fish anyway. So hopefully, we're going to be getting a good amount of money this time around. And we're going to be using a full 20 instead of just the 10 that we had previously. And I'm hoping, yeah, I'm hoping we're going to do good. Look at the graphics on the moon there, it is incredible, isn't it? Okay, buddy, is that Josh on the back? Yep, Josh is doing his prep gear. Just go wait for our next lot of fish coming through. There we go. Yep, there we go. As we had it. And hopefully, whatever comes in this next section, after we drop that line, hopefully we'll be capturing. Fingers crossed for it, are we? I'm not going to lie to you guys. Long line fishing is not the way to go. <laughs> it seems like it had taken forever to actually get the fishing lines down. Actually, I've got to put 20 lines down and you've got to go around collecting every single one of them again. And, oh, God, it's, well, how much did we get in the end? So let's have a quick check. So we currently got a five ton. Five ton of fish is, it's not a great amount. It's really not. But well, let's see how much money we're getting in for this. Oh no. Oh no, that is well not worth it. Okay, so that is the last time we're going to be doing long line fishing. Deep line fishing seems to be the way to go because you can catch plenty of tuna and swordfish as well. They're really good monies for us, aren't they? So let's sell this. We've got 23,000. Fish market, fishing gear. Sell long lines go sell them because we need to get as much as we can back so we've got eight and a half thousand for that and then we're going to see if we can buy any nets um yes we can, we can do the tutorial and let's try and find our area where we're going to do a little bit of net fishing interesting okay so we've got to do this one by manual we've got to do it ourselves We've got to find a net book. Where's the net book? Is this a net book here? Yep, it is. And who's the net setter? Is this this guy here? Oh no, that's hauling it. Okay, that's hauling the net in. Alright, we'll just throw it off the back. And there it is, isn't it? Yep. Interacts with netter. Set net in ocean. Oh, good. We've got, to, we've got to keep the boat straight. This is something that's a little bit different, isn't it? So we are literally just dragging the net around with us and we've got to keep it straight as we can. Oh, this could be quite tricky if you're in deep waters. Some big waves or anything going at you. He's keeping both on our right hand side. Our starboard, you could say. 
Now we're a professional fisherman. Ah, oh, I missed it. Oh, it's alright, actually. There's some good amount of fish here, aren't we? Some big ones. That's huge. How many is there? I'm not complaining, the like, more the better, really, isn't it? Quite a good haul at the moment. Wow. Now I need to gut the fish. We've just got 3,752 kilograms just off that one net alone. I mean, we got 4,500 off 20 long lines. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> crazy. That, that is crazy. That's really good. I'll move to the gutting table. Heads up guys, this can get a little bit gruesome. So from just the one net that we've got on board, we've got 20 nets, bear in mind. We've just got 22 and a half dollars. So that's pretty good. Alright guys, I'm going to call it a day for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and let me know down in the comments what do you think about this game so far. Are you enjoying the new Fishing North Atlantic series? Also guys, there's plenty to come. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye for now.